Hello everyone, welcome to another episode. In this video, we're going to share some key secrets to successfully trading chart patterns. We'll reveal my personal strategies for using chart patterns to consistently win in the Forex, cryptocurrencies, and stocks markets. Plus, we'll provide a helpful guide on trading chart patterns, along with indicators that function like professional tools to help you understand price movements. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid grasp of trading chart patterns and price actions, which will put you on par with professional traders. It's important to pay close attention because some parts of the content might get a bit technical. If you want to support us, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to stay updated on our new videos. Now, let's get started. Traders use various patterns, but we'll focus on the most effective ones that are highly sought after by bankers, fund managers, and institutional traders. We'll explain the details of each pattern's most significant secret, so you'll have a strong understanding of these powerful chart patterns and candlestick patterns in the Forex, stock, and cryptocurrency markets. Most importantly, this knowledge will help you become a highly profitable price action trader. Let's start with the double top and double bottom patterns. Did you know that there are double top and double bottom patterns that, when they appear, almost always generate winning trade signals and provide significant profits? So, here are the secret double top and double bottom patterns that are unknown to most beginner and amateur traders. These patterns don't show up often, but when they do, you're given a special opportunity to make substantial profits in the market. Alright, let's dive into the discussion. Double top and double bottom patterns are among the most reliable and well-known chart patterns. Many professional scalpers and swing traders use them to maximize their profits in the market. However, most beginner traders find it challenging to interpret these patterns due to their infrequent signals. But after following everything I explain in this video, you'll have a perfect understanding of how pro traders and bankers analyze double top and double bottom patterns in the Forex, cryptocurrencies, and stocks markets. Double bottom and double top patterns are signals that a stock's price is likely to reverse direction from a downtrend to an uptrend, or vice versa. Here, traders can use these patterns to determine the most opportune times to enter buy or sell positions. The trader wants to buy securities when they are on an upswing or bullish trend, and sell when they are on a downswing or bearish trend. So, a trader needs to be able to spot strong patterns that suggest a trend reversal in either direction. One way to do this is by analyzing double bottom and double top patterns. Take a look at this chart. The double bottom pattern has two parallel troughs, where both troughs test the same low level of support. This indicates that this price area is crucial, serving as the bottom limit that is accepted by almost all bankers, fund managers, and institutional traders worldwide. It means that prices shouldn't drop lower and should ideally move upward towards equilibrium. This is a crucial psychological aspect of the market that all beginner traders aiming for substantial profits should understand. From a technical analysis perspective, the double bottom pattern typically begins with a downtrend that changes into an uptrend. This pattern is one of the chart patterns that greatly helps us spot a market price reversal from falling to rising. On the other hand, in this chart, the double top pattern assists us in projecting a market price that was initially rising, but is now turning downward. The double top pattern forms two high peaks that are held back by a resistance area, indicating that the uptrend is weakening. The correct and safest way to use double top or double bottom patterns. In my experience as a trader and investor, this is the best, safest, and offers a relatively high risk reward ratio for each trading signal. First, a clearly established trend. I call this process big fund accumulations. As an investor, we can identify the movement of big fund accumulations by recognizing clear trends forming in the market. Since the trend is evident, every trader can easily identify it. As we can see in this chart, both institutional and beginner traders would likely agree that this is a bullish trend. Then, we notice a downward trend that eventually forms a double bottom above the 50 period exponential moving average. So, when the price breaks out above the neckline of the double bottom, it means that the recent downward movement is likely a correction, and there's a good chance that the price will continue its main upward trend. Therefore, we can open a buy position on the next candle, and place a stop loss just below the nearest swing low or below the 50 period EMA. Second, Minimum Price Movement Target Projection After Breakout How do you project the minimum target price movement after a breakout? 
The answer is, as shown in this chart, you can project the potential minimum target for a price increase in a double bottom pattern. If the breakout is confirmed by measuring the distance between the lowest point of the double bottom and the closing price of the breakout candle. This is one of the most important rules in trading double top and double bottom patterns. Determining the minimum target for your trade. Next. In this chart, we also clearly identify a bearish trend. All traders, whether institutional or beginners, would likely agree that this is a bearish trend. Here, we see an upward trend that eventually forms a double top and then drops below the 50 period exponential moving average. So, when the price breaks below the neckline of the double top, it means that the recent upward movement is likely a correction, and there's a good chance that the price will continue its main bearish trend. You can open a sell position on the next candle and place a stop loss just above the nearest swing high or above the 50 period EMA. These are the safest double top and double bottom patterns to trade, and they have the highest probability of winning. So, if you want to succeed as a double top and double bottom trader, these are the patterns you should always look for. By using the technique I've explained, you can now trade double top and double bottom patterns in the forex, cryptocurrencies, and stock markets with ease and confidence, because the probability and profitability of this technique are very high. You can analyze manually to find double top and double bottom patterns, because it's not difficult to do. But, as I do, you can use tools like the indicator I'm using here. This indicator is designed specifically to identify double top and double bottom patterns. However, we ourselves will determine whether the pattern is valid according to our trading rules or not. So, if you want to use the double top or double bottom pattern indicator just like the one I'm using, I've prepared a template with a system for you to use. Just upload it to your chart, and it will automatically plot all the indicators perfectly on your chart, so there's nothing to worry about. You can find the download link in the description. Second. The safest technique for trading the head and shoulders pattern. In this session, I will uncover the characteristics of the head and shoulders pattern that are the safest to trade and have the highest probability of profit. Once again, this is your guide to massive profits. It's undeniable that when a head and shoulders pattern forms, all bankers, fund managers, and other institutional traders pay attention to these signs because the head and shoulders pattern is likely to have significant consequences for market prices, especially if the pattern is very clear and appears on larger time frames like daily, weekly, and monthly. Therefore, based on this fact, retail traders and beginners should also be vigilant about this pattern. So, I'm going to show you step by step how to trade the head and shoulders pattern so that you can utilize it to the fullest, just like other pro traders. To start, I'll keep this explanation as simple as possible. This guide is not just for advanced traders, but can also be understood by beginners. As you can see in this drawing, the head and shoulders pattern consists of five attributes. They occur in the following order. First, uptrend. Second, left shoulder. Third, head. Fourth, right shoulder, fifth, neckline. You may notice that I placed the neckline last. Initially, this might seem like an error. However, we need both shoulders and the head of the pattern before we can identify the neckline. If this sounds confusing, don't worry, it will become clearer as you progress through the lesson. Now, let's delve into each step in more detail. Step 1. Uptrend. The first part of a head and shoulders pattern is the uptrend. This is when the price keeps going up for a while until it starts getting tired. Generally, the longer the uptrend lasts, the bigger the reversal is likely to be. Step 2. Left shoulder. In the next step, the market moves down a bit to create a higher low. Things are coming together, but we're not ready to draw the neckline just yet. Step 3. Head. Now that the left shoulder is formed, the market makes a higher high, creating the head. But despite this upward movement, buyers can't push the price much higher. So, we have the left shoulder in the head, and the neckline is starting to take shape, but we need the right shoulder to complete the pattern. Step 4. Right shoulder. The right shoulder is where everything comes together. It signals that buyers might be getting tired, and a market reversal could be on the horizon. As soon as the right shoulder begins, we can start drawing the neckline. However, keep in mind that the pattern isn't finished yet, so think of it as a rough draft, rather than the final version. Step 5. Neckline. Now that we have a clear head and two shoulders, we can draw the neckline support. This level becomes crucial when we discuss how to trade the breakout. Think of the neckline as the line in the sand that separates buyers from sellers. 
What are the characteristics of a high probability head and shoulders pattern for profit? Take a look at this chart. At first glance, it might not seem special, but when you look at it through the lens of technical analysis, you can see a clear bearish trend. Then, a unique head and shoulders pattern forms. It's not your typical head and shoulders pattern, it's a special one. When you come across this pattern, you're presented with a golden opportunity to profit from the market. Here are the important facts about this head and shoulders pattern. First, the trend before the formation of the head and shoulders pattern is bearish. Second, the head and shoulders pattern is very clear. Third, the neckline of this head and shoulders pattern is bearish. This is a very strong confluence. If the price successfully drops and closes below the neckline area, it's a sign that the bearish trend is back on track. What a trader should do is open a sell position on the next candle, with a stop loss placed at the nearest swing high. The minimum target is the distance between the head and the neckline. Next, as in the previous example, on this chart, we can clearly see that the market trend is bearish. Here, we have a head and shoulders pattern with a bearish neckline. So, if the price moves down through the neckline, we should immediately open a sell position on the next candle, with a stop loss above the nearest swing high. As a general rule for head and shoulders patterns, we set the minimum target equal to the distance between the head and the neckline. Just like other special chart patterns, you don't come across this special pattern often. But when it does appear, it means you should prepare to maximize your profits in the market. Next, I will introduce you to the most popular candlestick patterns today, and how to use them for your benefit. Third, the secret technique of engulfing candlestick patterns. Just like in our previous discussions, I'm going to reveal the biggest secret of trading engulfing candlestick patterns in this video. After understanding what I explain here, you'll quickly master one of the strongest candlestick patterns in the forex, stocks, and cryptocurrencies markets. Let's get started. What does a bullish engulfing pattern tell you? For a bullish engulfing pattern to form, the candle on day 2 must open at a lower price than it closed on day 1. If the price didn't drop when day 2 began, the blue candlestick wouldn't have the chance to completely cover the previous day's red candlestick. This bullish engulfing pattern suggests that bears were in control in the morning of day 2, but were later decisively overtaken by the bulls by the end of the day. The same principles apply to bearish engulfing patterns, but in the opposite direction. Since engulfing patterns often signal trend reversals, analysts pay special attention to them. However, even though the engulfing candlestick pattern is a reversal pattern, your chances of success in the market are higher when this pattern aligns with the main trend. So, you shouldn't trade any engulfing pattern blindly. I'll explain further. In this chart, we can clearly see that the market is in a bullish condition. Then, the price goes through a correction and ends with the formation of a bullish engulfing pattern. When you observe price action like this, I have high confidence that most experienced traders would agree that the market is likely to continue its bullish trend. So, what you should do after a bullish engulfing pattern forms during a bullish market correction like this, is to open a buy position on the next candle, while setting a stop loss just below the nearest swing low. Since the engulfing pattern is one of the strongest candlestick patterns and is closely watched by all major traders, you can set a minimum profit target of two times the stop loss you've set. Next, in this chart, you can clearly see that the market is in a bearish condition. Then, the price undergoes a correction, followed by the formation of a bearish engulfing pattern. When you see price action like this, I have high confidence that most experienced traders would agree that the market is likely to continue its bearish trend. So, what you should do after a bearish engulfing pattern forms during a bearish market correction like this is to open a sell position on the next candle, while setting a stop loss just above the nearest swing high. Again, because the engulfing pattern is one of the strongest candlestick patterns and is closely watched by all major traders, you can set a minimum profit target of two times the stop loss you've set. That's the most crucial secret that only a few traders are aware of. But in my opinion, every trader aiming for success in the forex, stocks, or cryptocurrencies market should master these special strategies. The price action signals I've explained are incredibly powerful for maximizing profits in the market. Even though they don't appear frequently, you should always be disciplined and follow all the analysis and trading rules I've discussed in this video. See you next time.